Good evening booktube, this is Emma from Emma's Bookish Lifestyle and today's video is a booktube watching tag and this was uh, recently filmed by Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventures and I shall list down below uh, the questions that I'm about to answer and would like to tag a couple of people that I think would be really good at this. Um, I'd love to tag uh, David at Wild Reads, I'd like to tag Ollie Bliss and I'd also like to tag young 12 year old Andrew who has recently joined the booktubing community and is amazing. Um, cannot believe that somebody so young can be so eloquent and so uh, beautifully worded when it comes to talking about books. And I'd really like to welcome him to the community by inviting him to take part in this tag if he hasn't already done so. So first question, how many channels do you follow? Well, at the moment, I currently follow 176 channels. The reason why um, it isn't as many as some other people is um, primarily because about 30 of those channels, uh, so going out to 206 um, of those are uh, vegan friendly makeup brands. And so I tend to watch them to see what's out and about in the market. Excuse the black eyes at the moment. I've got really bad hay fever and I haven't been able to put any um, makeup on. So please don't comment negatively down in the comments below that I look rough because I know I've got like really bloodshot eyes as well, which is why I'm recording where I'm recording and in a slightly darker environment because they're very itchy and weepy at the moment. Pesky rape seeds. Anyway, so yes, I follow about 176 channels, have recently culled those down, um, I was following a lot of young YA American booktube channels that just don't actually niche in with a lot of the books that I like to read anymore. Um, that's not to say they aren't great channels, they're amazing channels, but uh, their content is predominantly YA and I'm not a predominantly YA reader, so that's why I've reduced them down. When do you usually watch booktube? Well, I tend to have a couple of little habits. The first tends to be at six o'clock when I come home from work. I will tend to catch up with my favourite booktubers um, that post on specific days. So if I know that you're posting on a particular day, I will try and watch them then. Um, everything else I'll try and catch up with as I go. Um, but generally it tends to be in the evening. Although, to be honest with you, I've now kind of put myself on a little bit of a technology ban and I do try not to use YouTube too much of the evening because I want to read and I want to watch telly and I want to spend time with my partner Trevor. So <laughs> those things are slightly more important than YouTube. And I do apologise for that. YouTube is a great community, but, you know, there is life outside of the ether. And I think after watching and reading Ready Player One this year, it just goes to show the direction that we could be going in as a human race. And I think I'd rather have human interaction than electrical interaction, if that makes sense. So how do you balance watching, um, reading and making videos? Right, so I think I've kind of crossed over a little bit with the previous question in that. So I tend to make sure that my priorities are spending time with the people I love, then reading, then uh, making videos and then watching. And the reason for that is uh, last year when I first, or the year before last when I first started making content, I lived on my own. I was single and didn't have um, much in the way of other things to get in the way of making content and videoing content. Um, now obviously life is slightly different. I have a um, beautiful young girl in my life called Brooke and her dad Trevor and they are obviously quite a large part of my life. So priorities have changed somewhat. So I am now reading more. Uh, that's something that I want to do for me. That's the only thing that I have that is a proper downtime. And secondly, um, making video content. So I ideally want to start posting regularly on a Tuesday and a Sunday. So that means making time to make videos rather than watching videos. But as I say, I do watch videos and I try and watch sort of maybe one or two every night about six o'clock in the evening. Who's the first booktuber you watched and do you still watch them? Well, the first booktuber that I stumbled across actually was... Um, Simon from Savage Reads and Victoria from East Alexandria and they were both very um, 
welcoming and very lovely and I chatted to them a few times and they were both very supportive in joining and interacting into the booktube community so they were the first two channels that I found and then it sort of rolled on from there um, I do still watch them both and I also watch quite a few others which I believe will be asked in a, in a later question so I won't go into too much detail otherwise this video will take forever is there a difference between the videos you make and the videos you like watching? Yes, I think the difference between my videos that I make are they're completely unedited. I do that for a reason, partially because I'm not technically advanced with editing software and um, partly because um, I haven't until now had a regimented routine for uploading uh, video content. Um, also I think some of the videos that I make are maybe more chatty and don't have as many sort of um, Friday catch up sort of hauls um, where I go through the books that I've read and review them and that's something that I do actually want to change. I do want to increase the amount of videos that I do with book review type content to them. I do think as a booktube community it is something we should be watching. I don't think it's something we should be ignoring and um, definitely if it's a book that you're interested in purchasing and it is a spoiler free review I think it's definitely worth us as a community supporting those authors out there who have written these books brilliant and beautiful books and putting our comments out there both positive and negative you know we we get books uh, for ourselves we purchase books for ourselves but we also sometimes get sent them fortunately from publishers and I do believe we should give a truthful and honest review on booktube I think it's something that the community should be supporting um, and spending more time watching but then that's my selfish opinion <laughs> uh, and don't <laughs> You know, don't knock me for that, but that's just what I think should be happening. Um, who is your most recent booktuber that you subscribe to? Well, my recent, most recent booktuber that I subscribed to actually was young Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Um, he's been chatting on uh, Voxer with me and a few of my fellow um, booktubers. And he's 12 and he's amazing. And I absolutely cannot recommend that you go and watch his channel enough. For a 12 year old he is amazing so please please follow his channel and he does read quite um, a varied range of books he's not just a YA booktuber he does read um, literary fiction and lots of different things so please do follow his channel um, old favorite booktubers so old favorites people that I watch all the time well I watch Harriet Rosie who um, also did this original tag. I watch um, Simon from Savage Reads, David from Wild Reads, Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventures, um, Victoria from Eve's Alexandria, um, Eleanor from Eleanor Reads, uh, The Big Head Bookworm, uh, Janet from Swirly Gelly Reads. There's loads and loads of them. Um, I'm sure I've missed them. Jen Campbell's um, channel, Lauren Whitehead's channel, Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Uh, yeah, so many, 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 many booktubers. Um, new favourite booktuber, Ollie Bliss. <laughs> um, he is my new favourite booktuber, not only because I met him recently at the booktuber meetup and he was absolutely fantastic and spent some lovely time chatting to me and that really meant the world um, to get to know somebody new and but I've really enjoyed his recent new content that he's been doing with Simon at Savage Reads as a collaboration they're opening up the uh, queer community through books um, to everybody which I think is an essential part of this modern day and age uh, we are all one human race we are all one set of people whatever we like to call ourselves and whatever labels we are given we are still humans and uh, I just love that series and the identity that they're opening up to the queer community and the queer um, community through books and I think it's something amazing and I look forward to joining in 
on some of the books that they're reading. I don't know if I'll be able to do the first book, unfortunately, um, because uh, my library didn't have it available. So uh, it may be the next book that I join in with them, but I will definitely be joining in. And um, question nine, booktuber pet peeves. Well, I think I've kind of crossed that. And that is the fact that booktubers community don't feel that book reviews are videos that should be viewed and watched and talked about and discussed and um, I think we've got copious amounts of book hauls and things like that but I'd be really interested to hear what people actually fully think of a book review and sometimes I don't think slotting it in as three or four books in one video gives it enough justice especially if it's a book that you feel strongly about um, and so that's one of my pet peeves. I think we should be um, respecting the authors that have written these amazing books and giving them more airtime to discuss what we loved about them, what we didn't love about them um, and, and things like that. I also don't think that we're um, honest enough about the amount of books that we do not finish. And one of the films that I am due to record is going to be a series on uh, on a quarterly basis where I tell you the books that I've DNF'd and why I've DNF'd them. So um, I hope that's going to be something of interest. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, and question 10, what have you learned from watching booktubers? Well, I've learned that we're a very, very large community. And although I don't have a lot of close friends in the geographical area and the geographical sense, in the worldly sense there are many of us out there and we're all in very similar positions some of us have got bookish friends some of us have met bookish friends through booktube um, and what i really like is that uh, reading and booktube in general but reading is a lovely lovely um hobby to have and very engrossing and it's great to be able to share it with other people and especially you guys out in booktube so uh, that is what I've learned from watching booktube that there are no limits there are no boundaries we can read what we want discuss what we want and are accepted for who we are whoever we are excluding labels of any description so i would like to tag a couple of people i think i've already mentioned andrew andrew i'd love you to ta um to tag you to do this um i'd love to hear david from wild reads if you haven't done this um i'd love you to do this and also i'd like ollie bliss to do this please i'd love to hear what he has to say about the kind of booktubers that he watches and um also to see if any of you three that I've just tagged um, have got any new channels that maybe I've missed out on that I need to include in my um, ever-growing list of 170 plus. So I hope you're well for now, BookTube, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.